are here today to celebrate and observe LGBT Pride Month, sponsored by the Madigan Army Medical Center Equal Opportunity Office. During the month of June, the Department of Defense recognizes lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender service members and civilians for their dedicated service to both the DOD mission and our nation. Throughout history, brave lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender soldiers, sailors, airmen, marines, and coast guardsmen have served and fought for our nation. Their readiness and willingness to serve has made our military stronger and our nation safer. Beloved medical family, let us pray. We believe that people of every sexual orientation, gender expression, and gender identity have the right to live with dignity and without persecution and discrimination. May we dedicate ourselves to building bridges to love and hope while working constantly for justice so that everyone can live fully in your love. It gives me great pleasure to introduce our guest speaker for today's observance, Representative Lori Jenkins. Lori Jenkins represents the 27th Legislative District in Pierce County. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming Representative Jenkins. Thank you. It's, um, it's wonderful to be here. Uh, thank you for having me today and um, being asked to come out and here and talk about uh, LGBTQ issues. I think of Dickens, it was the best of times, it was the worst of times. And it's not exactly the worst of times, I think it was the best of times, it's the fear of the worst of times. But I think that that's why um, the work that's happening here and all over the country is so important. I started being involved in LGBTQ issues uh, in the early 1990s uh, in Tacoma. In the early 90s we passed a state malicious harassment law that uh, included um, LGBT people. Right, we passed a statewide anti-discrimination law. We passed a series of three domestic partnership um, pieces of legislation. We then in 2012 passed marriage equality in Washington State. We had a repeal of don't ask, don't tell. Uh, we had an expansion of really looking at uh, treatment and inclusion of transgender service members. For many of us in the room, for me, I feel like I've spent my whole lifetime, like it's taken a long time for this to happen, but I think when you look at, the hi at what history will say, 50, 100, 200 years from now, this transformation happened in the blink of an eye. It's incredibly moving know that LGBTQ people can now be out and serve, serve just like every other person, take the risks that every other soldier takes, but be recognized and affirmed for who they are. We're just going to have a few words from Colonel Scott before we close for the day. Oh, good. <laughs> Representative Jenkins, thank you so much for joining us today. You know, as a military community, we are interconnected with all of the communities ac across our nation and really around the globe. As a Madigan family, we really appreciate the culture that we have. We, we represent the culture of our nation. We are a culture of inclusion. We are a culture of equality. My name is Lieutenant uh, Casey Strong. We uh, formed what is called now our LGBT, LGBT support group. Uh, it meets on the second Thursday of every month. So any active duty personnel, DOD uh, beneficiaries or their spouses are welcome to attend and that's so that we can support one another as we kind of embrace the military environment. Madigan Army Medical Center uh, allowed us to have a pride demonstration and observance day uh, dedicated solely to the LGBTQ community. So please know that you are always welcome in Madigan Army Medical Center to be who you are and we are here to support you at all times. Hello, um, my name is retired Star First Class Beeman Nina, and I came to this event today to support the LBGT community 
Um, I am a lesbian female. I'm married to a woman and I have been for the last three years and I just think this is a positive environment to be around so I just want to give more back to the community. Thank you.